Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Alright guys, so in today's video, we're just going to be doing a chill day at home video because I'm pooped today. I'm so tired today. Um, my husband was up and down all night last night because I'm guessing he's getting the flu or something. I'm not sure, so... I had to help him last night and make sure he had everything that he needed and make sure he was okay this morning. And then I got my daughter up at 5.30 this morning for school. And then after that, I just knocked out some meetings that I had to go to. And I have been drinking on my ketones today. Today I've got the Key Lime Caffeine Free. They have been my lifesaver today, guys such a lifesaver today because without these ketones I would probably be comatose in the bed right now but I'm hungry so what I've got planned for us today for breakfast is I'm going to make us a sausage egg and cheese McGriddle and it's very easy to make and I love having this for breakfast and I will usually make a few for the week just to make sure I have them for breakfast in the morning if I don't want anything else I always have them in the freezer and I can just pop them out and pop them in the microwave or in the oven toaster oven whichever one you have just pop it in there toast it up and you're good to go but today I'm going to make one to show you how exactly I make it and they're so so delicious you guys they're really really good very very easy you just need some 90 second bread eggs cheese sausage or bacon whichever one you want I'm gonna use sausage today and a little bit of shredded cheese and we're gonna have that for breakfast so let's get this um, McGriddle started and I will show you how we do that okay you guys so we're gonna start off you're just going to need a bowl, just a regular bowl. This is just to mix this in. You're going to need a sifter. You're going to use two tablespoons of almond flour. And you're just going to sift that into the bowl. Now, what I like to do with the bits here is I just take them and I put them in a cup just put those in a cup you can store this in the freezer and you can um, use these to put on salads or whatever you like after that you're going to add in about a half a teaspoon of baking powder a pinch of salt I'm just going to give that a mix now you're going to add in one egg Two or one and a half tablespoons of butter that's been melted and cooled. Now you're going to add in two one tape one and a half tablespoons of sugar-free syrup. You can use whatever you have on hand. This is just going to sweeten up the bread just a little bit and uh, give it that maple flavor. Just um, use whatever you have on hand. Then you're just going to mix this up really well. Now I'm going to put this back into the pan or the um, little ramekin that I used for the butter. You're just going to pour that in there. Now you're just going to microwave this for 90 seconds. If it's not completely done at 90 seconds, put it back in for 30 more seconds and it should be done. Okay, you guys, this is what it looks like right out of the microwave. What you're going to do is you're going to take a little knife 
and just lightly run it around the edges. And carefully flip it over. Now you're just going to let this cool just a few minutes and carefully cut it in half like that. And now you just have two equal pieces. Now we're going to move over to the stove and finish this bad boy up. All right, guys, now we're at the stove. Don't mind my little mess over here. I just got done doing dishes, and I've got all of my ingredients for my McGriddle here. So you're just going to get a little pan, turn on your heat, and you're going to add just a little bit of butter to your pan. I'm going to let that melt. All right, now that our butter is all melted, just take your little bread, Pop it down in there. We're going to let this toast on both sides. They are nice and golden brown on that side. So now we're just going to cook them on this side until they get golden brown. And then we'll take them off and we'll cook the rest of the ingredients. Alright, now I've cut my heat down to low. I'm going to take my pan off the heat. And this is what I have on hand today. Um, the macros are, they're pretty good. Um, the sugar is very low on the list, so there's not that very much sugar in there. But I'm just going to use this today, and I'm going to use only one patty. Now we're just going to cook this until it gets almost done, and then we'll add in our egg. Okay, now that this is almost thawed, we're going to add in our egg. Now I'm going to pop the yolk on this egg and just mix it up just a little bit. Because I don't want that to be too runny on the sandwich. Now at this point you can salt and pepper your eggs. I'm just going to pepper the egg just a little bit. Now I like a lot of pepper on my egg. And then I'm going to use a little bit of salt. And I always use pink salt. And I'm just going to flip that over. Flip my egg over and let that cook a little bit. Now I'm going to add the cheese to my sausage. Now this is what I have on hand. This is just the great value mild cheddar cheese. It's what I have on hand because I can buy it in bulk. And it will last me for a while. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the top. And at this point, your um, sausage is pretty much done. So we're just going to move this over here. And I like to put it on the thicker part of the um, bread. And then I just like to cut this egg in half just so it will fit on the McGriddle. And then I just top it and it will melt the cheese. Alright guys, this is what it looks like. You can cut this in half if you like. Um, the cheese is melting pretty good. I've got the McGriddle the egg cheeses in the middle sausage on the bottom so that way the cheese melts very very nicely from the heat of the sausage and egg um, If you don't want to use sausage you can um, Certainly use bacon or you can just do egg and cheese whichever you prefer um, But I'm going to let this cool a little bit and I'm going to go eat this and I will see you guys back in just a few minutes 
because I've got to do some work on the computer. I've got to redo my flyer for my Prove It website, so I've got to get that done. But first I'm going to eat, and then I will um, see you guys in just a few minutes. Alright you guys, so I am so extremely excited because I've got goodies. I've got lots of goodies. And what these goodies are are food. And why do I have it? It's not for me. It is for families in need this holiday season. I love giving back. My family loves giving back to those in need. And we do it all the time. Um, like if we have something that we um, like to share or give back to a family in need, we just take it to them and give it to them. Um, especially clothing and blankets, especially during the holiday season because it is cold outside and they do need to stay warm and have good food in their bellies. So, what this is, is it's, um, it's called a White Christmas. Now, this is something that the local high schoolers, the local parents, and the school do every single year. Now, what the children will do is they will go out and they will take food from their home or they will purchase food from the local grocery store or anything like that and they will bring it to the school. What the school then does, is they will package it, okay, and they will put a list of low-income families in the box. Um, this is all confidential. Nobody knows who anybody is. So it's all completely confidential. The only thing that you will know is who is delivering food to your family in need this season. So I've got mine delivered. I've got my little list and I've already picked out a family to deliver this beautiful food to. But before I get it all packaged back up, and add some more little goodies to it. Um, I'm just going to go over with you what's in the box. Okay, so we're going to start out here. We have two cans of corn, two cans of cranberry sauce, green beans, another can of green beans, another can of corn. Um, what is this? Um, yams. We have Tetley iced tea. We have a hamburger skillet. We have um, ramen noodles. We also have a vanilla cake mix. We have four boxes of Jiffy corn muffin mix. We have two bags of mashed potatoes. We have a whole thing of um, quick cooking oats. We have grape jelly. We have a huge tub of peanut butter. We have a stuffing mix. We have this um, a cream cheese icing. I'm assuming that's for the cake. We have two boxes of corn flakes. And we have three boxes of macaroni and cheese. We have a bag of beans. These are pinto beans. We have two packages of brown gravy mix. We also have a small bag of sugar. We have a little bag of banana nut muffin mix. We also have a bag of a chocolate chip cookie mix. We have some bread. And we have some mini marshmallows. And that's what we got, you guys. This, I think, is something that is really great for the high schoolers to learn, to give back, um, to pick a family in need from our local area. Um, it just helps the high schoolers just learn to have a good heart and learn to give back and learn to be productive and proactive in our society so that way they can make good choices. So, um, I'm so excited to be picked this year to be doing this. 
the high schoolers pick out of a long list of parents at the school who they want to be delivering these beautiful little munchies over here um, to a family that they have chosen so I am excited that I get to do this um, I'm pretty sure my husband and my daughter will want to be involved in this so I'm just going to get this packaged back up and uh, add some more goodies to it I've got some goodies in my cabinet that I can give to them and I've got some nice warm blankets back there with some coats that I'm also going to uh, throw in the mix just because I do have the ages and um, family members that are in the list so I know if I wanted to purchase something for them I know what sizes to get and for male or female so that's great but like I said I've got some blankets I've got some jackets and I've got um, some more goodies in my cabinet that I'm going to pack with this so um, I'm just going to get that done and uh, get that all fixed up so when my husband and my daughter gets home we can go and take that to a family I will not record that because it is private I don't want to bombard somebody with a camera um, I don't want to intrude on their privacy so I will not record that um, I just wanted to let you guys know this is what we've got this is what we're doing I'm also running a charity drive on my Prove It website I will leave the um, link right here just uh, visit that little link and you will go straight to my website and you can purchase anything on my website um, and I will tally that up on December 20th maybe a little bit after because it's been so busy here lately and I will send that into a charity that you choose now if you want to choose a charity you have to go to one or the other channel you can go and vote in this channel or you can go to my cleaning channel and vote because I have two announcement videos. I have one on this channel and one on the other channel. So you just go into my uh, videos and look for the announcement video and it will tell you everything you need to know about that charity drive and what you can do and where you can go to vote. And everything about my website so if you want to do that if you want to give back to a family this holiday season please visit my Prove It website and uh, purchase something from there and I will take half of those proceeds that I earn because um, I am a promoter for the company I do not get the whole entire amount I do get commission from what I sell so I will take what I earn from those sales and split it in half and give half to a charity that you vote for. So with that being said, I'm going to get this boxed up, ready to go, and I will see you guys back in just a bit. Alright guys, so I've got everything packed up. It's ready to go. Waiting on my husband and daughter to get home. And then my quest bars comes in I already took them out of the package and uh, got them in here but I got the pumpkin pie quest bars these are so delicious you guys um these are a protein bar so use these as a meal replacement if you are on a keto um, there's a four net carbs, one gram of sugar, and 12 fiber in here. I love Quest bars. Um, I love all Quest products. But, um, like I said, if you eat those on keto, use those as a meal replacement. Um, but if you want a snack or something, I would definitely go with the Perfect Keto bars because they're more f they they're a fat bar and not a protein bar. The Quest Bars are protein bars. Perfect Keto are fat bars. So, keep that in mind. But, I've got them all put in here. Um, I've got one chocolate donut left. So, I've got to go stock up on two more of my favorites. Um, these were sent to me by Quest. 
Um, but I am going to go purchase some more chocolate donut and birthday cake and chocolate chip cookie dough because those are my favorites. But I just wanted to give a shout out to Quest for sending me these and I love them. So I'm just going to end the vlog here because I'm waiting on my husband to get home so we can go deliver our white Christmas package to our little family in need. And then we're just going to come back cook some dinner and then call it quits for the night and uh, just chill in the house maybe watch a movie and uh, get ready for bed because we all are very busy tomorrow I will see you guys in the next video don't forget to subscribe you guys it's completely free just hit that little red subscribe button down below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to tick that little notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. I'm trying to upload as many videos as I possibly can for you guys um, for a Vlogmas. I'm a little late on Vlogmas, so it's kind of Vlogmas, kind of not. Right in between. But we're, we'll get there. Um, so yeah, you guys. Hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like. And tick that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. So I'm just going to end it here and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.